During the next few minutes, you are going to learn not only the definition of work-life balance with the relevant vocabulary, expressions, and sentence structure, but you are also going to learn how to structure your thought process and how to articulate your ideas clearly. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, work-life balance is the amount of time that you spend at work compared with the amount of time that you spend with your family or doing things that you enjoy. A healthy work-life balance is about a harmonious relationship between work and life, without any tilting of the balance towards one direction or the other. It involves consciously managing your time and your energy so that you can meet your personal and your professional commitments while still prioritizing your self-care and well-being. In a nutshell, we can say that a healthy work-life balance happens when after work you are able to fully disconnect and you can engage and focus entirely on doing things with your family, with your friends or by yourself. You shouldn't be bringing any work home with you. If you are after a healthy work-life balance, these are the top 4 characteristics that you need to work on. Setting boundaries, time management and stress management, and of course, flexibility. Let's have a look into each one of those individually. Setting boundaries, as obvious as it may sound, is about establishing and defining clear limits between work and your personal life. You need to define and plan specific working hours, clearly marking the borders between work-related tasks and personal activities. Once you have clearly defined your working time and your personal time, you need to think about time management. Time management is a fundamental skill that you need to seek to improve all the time if you want to be more successful and more productive at work. Time management is about efficiently organizing and prioritizing your tasks. And remember, when doing so, you should allow for some extra time in between tasks just in case things don't go according to plan and you get delayed. The formula is quite simple. The better you manage your time, the better your quality of life will be. What about stress management? There are lots of books written on stress management. Whether we want it or not, stress is going to get on the way, is going to challenge us in our daily lives. Therefore, stress management is a mandatory skill that you also need to develop if you want to be more productive and more successful at work. And of course, happier in your personal life too. These are some top tips that can help you manage your stress. Find some time to relax in the morning before you go to work. You could do some sport, for example, you could go for a run, you could go to the gym, or maybe you can meditate. Perhaps you like reading, you could read for one hour or half an hour before you go to work. But never start your day at work angry or in a bad mood. Tip number two. Plan your day ahead, that way you will be in control and you will minimize the opportunities for stress. Number three, create a comfortable working environment. Nobody wants to work in a mess. You need to know where things are and you need to feel comfortable. This will help you manage your stress. Number four, eat well, hydrate yourself and go for a little work every now and then. And number five, avoid drinking a lot of caffeine, a lot of coffee. Characteristic number four of a healthy work-life balance is flexibility. Flexibility is about having the ability to adapt and adjust your schedule to accommodate unforeseen circumstances or personal needs so you don't have to compromise your work commitments. 
When you plan your day, your week, your month, you should consider allocating some buffer time. This buffer time will allow you to account for unforeseen delays, emergencies, interruptions, distractions. It's going to help you reduce stress, avoid missing deadlines, and handle unexpected situations more efficiently. If you want to learn more about work-life balance, you can check the full video that one over there, where I also speak about the role of your manager in order to help you achieve a balanced work life. I cover the top uh, signs of an unhealthy work life balance and I provide some top tips to help you improve the quality of your work and your personal life. Mm -hmm.